The time is now 12 o'clock and it's April the 11th here in Sherbourne and a very, very warm welcome to everybody. And you're now listening to the community radio sound of Radio Sherbourne. Yes, and a very warm welcome to uh, one and all and welcome to uh, the very first broadcast from Radio Sherbourne. We're surrounded here in the studio down in the rendezvous in Cheap Street with some of the presenters that we've got today. We've got Ross and Ryan who are going to be on a little bit later on. We've got Susan, we've got Dan and we've got Steve. We seem to have a slight problem almost straight away on our, uh, <laughs> our start, uh, but uh, never mind, we shall try and get ourselves up and working here. Right, okay, um, that's not working, <laughs> that's not working. <laughs> Give me another. I was just th thinking, Chris, uh, yeah. um, with, with broadcasting, you can never be on time, can you? No. You're either early or you're late. late. And I think we have to own up and, and put our hands in the air and say, we were late. We, we were late. We were stuck outside this building. We were locked out. Yeah. Not an auspicious start. Wasn't uh, it? But um, let's hope it. Let's uh, hope things it, can. It, oh, it, things it, can only get better. Things don't get better. <laughs> let's start with this one. Three, two, one. Blues. At least it'll uh, get us going and give us five minutes to uh, sort out. What we feel is we've done a lot for the school, but um, we haven't sort of done enough for the community, and so that's what we tried to start doing. And as a member of the school mentioned that there was going to be a radio show on, um, we sort of took the opportunity to get down here and up to the challenge. There are a lot of um, music on there, which is most of the pop population of Sherbourne, but there are also younger people in Sherbourne, which is what our, our um, broadcasting will be, It'll be sort of younger generations, top 40, stuff like that. Um, How important do you think it is to get younger people into the habit of listening to the local radio station? I think it is important. Because they're part of the community of Sherbourne. And I think it is something that they should be doing, because it will not teach them, but it will sort of make them learn to respect their community a bit more if it's got that bit more in it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think a lot of your friends would be interested in getting involved? Uh, well, we have spoke we, to we them. Spoke We've to them, yeah. uh, tried to get them on board, but, um, yeah. Well, Dan listened to them. Dan. Yeah. yeah. Dan was um, eager to come down and sort of help us, so... And have you any ideas about the kind of things you might want to do in the future in the radio? Well, I'm sort of open-minded at the moment, we see where do, everything takes me. We do want to do sort of a bit of debating, which is what we're going to try to um, put in our broadcast. But it's got to be sort of debates of what younger people would do, so it's supposed to going to be within the community. Within the community. Soap opera? <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe. Maybe. Oh, I... Not even in East End, is it? Yeah. So... Yeah. The BBC don't uh, give us very much uh, coverage for us up in here in the, in the North Dorset or North West Dorset area and um, uh, we really um, needed something so I thought right what we need is a community radio station and I uh, took my idea off to the uh, local council mm -hmm. and um, they backed the idea there and from then it slowly grew. We had a nice little article um, that uh, the Western Gazette did in the uh, newspaper and the volunteers started rolling in and here we are eight months later we've got ourselves a, a bit of a temporary studio but we're going to have a brand new studio built about uh, 10 or 15 feet away from where we currently are and um, we will be installed here a little bit more permanently than we are for our one week broadcast uh, that we're doing this week. We, we've got some events coming up a little bit later on uh, at the end of May and uh, we are we shall then actually be on real radio hopefully. Uh, we're going what to do have, you mean by real radio? Well you'll be actually be able to tune in using your transistor radio at home which currently you can't do at the moment unfortunately we're just running on the internet uh, due to governmental regulations. Uh, but um, 
Will that mean that people will be able to ring in with requests or with info, uh, important information? Oh about yes, uh, we will want uh, between now and then. We want uh, to get in touch with lots of the clubs and societies and everything else like that around Sherbourne to uh, let us know what they're doing. Um, we can come round. We can uh, do some interviews and just get everybody involved in what we're doing here in, in Radio Sherbourne, your community radio station. So. Uh, it's very important that everybody starts to join in and get involved. And uh, you can do that, as I said, by uh, ringing us on 814 496, or you can also uh, email us on studio at radioshirbourne.co.uk. Very good. Let's hope we get some more calls. Okay, and yeah, let's uh, move on and see what uh, we can do a little bit of magic. <laughs> <laughs> 